Welcome to Sixes Overdrive, everybody. I got the steering wheel cam here. I'm just holding on to my little hero session with my hands. Uh, so, you know, you get the old roundabout here. It's gonna be a little bit shaky. Anyway, guys, I'm just driving home to ride my motorbike. And it's not the first, it's not the first ride of the year. No, 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 no. Two days ago was the first ride of the year and I was selfish. I didn't want you guys along with me. So what I did was I took out both of my little babies, my XSR 900 and my DR650, and I went for a rip around town. Well, this time I think I'm gonna take you with me. Yeah, so now I'm barreling home in my Prius to see if I can take Dr. Zook out for a ride, my DR650. So uh, come along for the ride here, guys. First motor vlog of the year. <laughs> Do not attempt to enter root information. Good enough. Let's get this garage door closed and let's get out of here. You guys are probably wondering why the DR650, why not the XSR900? Well, I'll tell you one thing. There's a lot of gravel and snow still on the roads. I think we're smarter to go with the old off-road bike. Not only for the fact that it's got a lot more grip with these knobby tires, but let's face it, if I do go down, it's going to cost me a whole heck of a lot less money. All right. Get the choke off. And wheelie off the driveway. Woo! Feels good. Feels good. <laughs> Woo! All right. If I do that, I'm not going to let these knobbies last very long, am I? Feels so good to be able to just get that front wheel up in the air. But yeah. School zone. Got to slow down. Got to be nice. Got to be good. Guys, I know I'm wheeling on the road, and I kind of tell some people every now and then, you got to be responsible on the road. Don't be doing that kind of jackass stuff. But, uh... I wanted to tell you right now, there's absolutely nobody around here. That's why I did it. It was a clear road. And uh, I, I always try to be sure that that's what's going on when I do that. Let's close the visor. It might look really warm here right now, but uh, it's only like 8 degrees. And stuff like this still might have uh, the occasional... Woo. See, like your back end just comes out with that gravel there when you give her a little bit of gas. <laughs> nope, not gonna make that light. It is nice. Like uh, my hands aren't even cold. A little face wash here for you. Everything we're gonna wash and polish my face Hi. how you doing good good, good. Hey, it does yeah <laughs> I actually just did down the back road there <laughs> 650 <laughs> yeah have a good day. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to be back on the road again. Oh, so look at all the balloons. Everybody's celebrating that I'm out on the road today. Practicing my counter steering. Let's go down these back roads over here. Oh, all right. You decided last second to do that, didn't you? I purposely was turning this way to get rid of you, buddy. And he just runs through the red light. So guys, I'm thinking about getting another camera. I'm in a little bit of a dilemma here. Maybe you guys can help me in the comments below. Um, I'm looking for an action camera. Part of it's for work. 
uh, but I'm not really sure. What I really want is the drone. I want the Mavic Pro. That's what I really want right now. That's really pointing way up in the air. Anyway, I want the Mavic Pro right now, but uh, in Canada here, it's uh, about a $1,400 investment, and they recently came up with a bunch of goofy laws that make no sense that basically say that you're not allowed to have a drone in Canada. So I'm a little bit worried about that because, you know, it's just B-roll footage and everybody else has one anyway. I could be the different guy and not have one. But by the same standard, I have a lot of guys working. I do social media management and uh, I got a lot of clients that are kind of wanting the drone shots of their buildings or of uh, different events they have, whether it be barbecues and stuff like that. And it sounds like everything I would be doing for them is illegal anyway, but I'd have to, like, kind of suck it up and try to get rid of it quick. And that's why I'd want the Mavic Pro, because I could tuck it away and hide it. And then the other thing I'm looking at is um, the Sony FDR-X3000 or 3000X. Anyway, it's a, it's a GoPro-type camera. Well, let's let this lady cross the street. She's just waiting so nice. Are you going... Oh, it's the guy. It's the dude that's moving across the street. I see what's going on here. So sorry to interrupt. I would really like either one of those two. Now, I would prefer the Mavic Pro. That sounds like fun. It's something I don't have. I've got a few action cams already. I've got my, uh, my little side camera right here. Hello, say hello to everybody. Uh, I've got that one, and then I've got the Hero 4 Session right here. Both are fine. I think they do a lovely job of making uh, these motovlogs nice and entertaining with good picture and all. But the reason I really like the Sony is it's the image stabilization in that sucker and the fact that you can put a mic right into it and it fits on tripods and you can get a high frame rate for slow motion. That's the main things I want it for. So I would do that for some of my customers, like uh, the car salesmen, uh, the car dealerships. <laughs> I would like that for uh, doing car reviews for them, uh, little things like that where we could do nice. I've already got a gimbal for my phone. A lot of you know that. Uh, but this would be a nice little touch where I didn't have to bring anything along and I could put it on the front of a car or something like that and you get that nice silky smooth footage so what do you think in the comments down below should i get the mavic pro or should i get the sony fdr 3000 xx 3000 whatever it's called man there's so many playground zones around here ah, open up the visor get it stifling at 30 kilometers an hour there's photo radar all over the place in lloydminster it is crazy what another light stoppy no stoppies. I don't do stoppies on the TR. It's got a knobby. I suppose I could try. Mark is a go. Mark is a go. And down goes the visor. Plenty of wind coming in now. We leave the tracks. Yep, yep. That works good. You see that sign hockey there? Our band a couple weeks ago got to play for Rogers Hometown Hockey, which is on the uh, Rogers Network internationally for hockey. And uh, that was pretty cool, although in a different way than you might think. It was minus 33 degrees Celsius, and uh, myself and the milk-fed turkeys froze our fingers so bad that, uh, like, it was tear-inducing, <laughs> let me tell you. Minus 33, holding on to an instrument with steel strings on them. Not the most fun you can have. But it was really cool. We ended up on a couple of the uh, little highlights and stuff on Hockey Night in Canada. You know, for a little band like that, that uh, we do weddings and cover tunes kind of thing. Uh, old classic rock, some new rock, some country, whatever. But for a little local band, like from a town of 30,000 people, it's pretty neat to be seen on national TV. That was pretty cool. Let's take the detour and get ahead of all the traffic. <laughs> We're not going to get ahead of anybody. <laughs> There's no way I can come out and be ahead of everybody going down these back roads we're about to hit. Woo! But it's more fun, right? Hey guys, thanks for coming along for the ride for my second 
first ride of the year. <laughs> Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Six Years Overdrive, and I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Hey, clutch first. This is what you would do, right? Zip right down the middle of this. Get to the front of the line. Even though New York State, you're not supposed to go through the, uh, through the lane filtering. You do it anyway, don't you, buddy? And look at me. I'm scared spitless of our cops because our cops would lose it if I did that. They would lose it.